2020. What a year. Let's review it. Hi, Internet. It's your boy. And today, 2020, man. 20 heckin' 20. Let's talk about 2020. It's been one year of just staying indoors, uh, things happening out of our control, people losing jobs and everything, but still positive things happening. One second, uh, I might need to Google positive things that have happened in, in during COVID. Okay, so we saved millions of lives with new vac with a new vaccine. Uh, we masked up and hunkered down, saving millions more lives. This is for a mashable, by the way. Women leaders got the job done. Uh, the year that the U.S. elected its first female vice president was also a shining moment for women leaders worldwide. Oh yeah, Kamala Harris got elected as vice president. Democracy won for now. Carbon emissions fell by the largest amount ever recorded. That is something really positive. And also, I, I remember, like, the people, I think it was a, uh, um, somewhere in India got to see Mount Fuji. I think it was, um, um, I might be wrong. Uh, China, Japan, and South Korea all combined themselves this year to net zero emissions by mid-century. Fossil fuels are in big trouble. Because of all the lack of use of certain vehicles and things. Electric cars are speeding growth. More cities banish more cars. We made land greener. We made the oceans cleaner. We saved a lot of animals. Oh yeah, the fires that happened in Australia. Alternative meat had a good year. Drug legalization is winning. Uh, universal basic income had a great year. Black Lives Matter became the biggest mass movement in history. Amen. We started a work from home revolution. Amen. And a lot of more positive things that I'm not gonna go over through too solidly but I am gonna shed light on some things so I'd like to start off this year in review with the uh, underwhelming fact that I've made about six videos this year <laughs> excluding this one which would be seven by the way this is being recorded on Boxing Day uh, so yeah I made the Zucchini Man video in April because between January and March, basically, I started back up with the gaming channel. I hit hard in February with the Garden of Salvation raid video I did. Uh, I started the Minecraft multiplayer series with Ryu, but it kind of cut, cut short around episode 5 in April. And I kind of went ahead and did the Zucchini Man video in April. I did the primitive tech video in May, which is a primitive tech video to be wild in. Uh, I celebrated Father's Day on the channel on July, like uh, about one or two weeks uh, late. I watched weird ads, which were like this compilation of weird ads that I've gotten uh, recommended to me all this time when I watched uh, YouTube on my iPhone. I tried the Travis Scott burger. Well, I tried to try the Travis Scott burger. And I didn't get the Travis Scott burger, I just got a regular uh, uh, McBurger. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of the burger that the, the Travis Scott burger is after. And just this December, I did the apology video of me not posting as much as I would like to. I'm going to make a dedicated point this year to post more often. But I might not be able to hold that promise as I am in college, which is another thing that happened. I am in Full Sail University, the online program in Winter Park, Florida. I'm currently studying the creative writing for the entertainment industry bachelor's degree. So fun. Um, and in the gaming channel, like I said, we did the Garden of Salvation, which was uh, February. I started the Minecraft multiplayer series in between March and April. And in May, I did a Minecraft time lapse of a TARDIS build in Minecraft. I love TARDISes and I love Doctor Who so much so that I have a book of Doctor Who, the Doctor Who TARDIS Type 40 series. I won't show you the cover because, well, I've edited it. 
I've edited it. Uh, I did a first episode of Server Survival, which was not really a first episode. It just kind of was one video. That's it. Also went through my Twitter. This Twitter account you're seeing before you, which is my Twitter account. Uh, basically, I tweeted a lot of stuff and I've compiled a list of things I tweeted that I think is uh, pretty funny. Uh, so in the first tweet, um, I, uh, the first tweet of the year, which was like on January 98, uh, January 9, 2019, <laughs> I literally read Windows 98 here and I had to say that. I wrote, you good, to reply to someone, you good, change the world, bye final message, goodbye. <laughs> In Windows 98 sound the sound. I tweeted at Post Malone. We get it at Post Malone. You like Pokemon in reference to I think it was his Circles music videos, the red and blue version. Uh, I tweeted dog as a reply to someone and a bunch of pictures of my dog. <laughs> Fireflies by Owl City. I also tweeted applesauce. 56 for some reason uh, NZXT tweeted something about like uh, show me a gamers uh, Search tab in uh, search history and I wrote how to download RAM real no Rick roll dot jar Please I want to play Fortnite and not drop frames Fortnite free V bucks how to hack uh, At the time Fortnite was really fresh in my mind uh, I wrote asterisk deserves and you should hashtag bring back rain run so this is actually a reply to the twitter account of the youtuber rick kakas from kakas hd and um i wrote that i tweeted that at him and here we are today <laughs> i still want him to bring back raid gun runs because there was a, a time in twitch where he would carry people through different raids in d1 i wanted that in d2 and i think it's that at the moment he realized that um the beta service for like um, instant carries was like a thing. Sherpa runs. He's thought, oh, well, nobody needs me, so whatever. Uh, Little Caesar Sirs tweeted something and I wrote, shut up. <laughs> uh, someone tweeted something really nice and I wrote, wish I was cared about like that. And then um, I did something interesting because apparently a government uh twitter followed me and i wrote yo have i done something wrong question mark and it's followed by a picture of them following me uh i tweeted is it bad every time i have success in my life i fear that success will stop uh, slip away at any moment is this imposter syndrome question mark as a reply to at cheese on twitter not cheese like uh, their user their their title is at cheese not at cheese, it's just cheese. And my final tweet of the year is, y'all may laugh, but my right hand feels great ever since I started using an ergonomic mouse. And honestly, I can't say I'm upset about using a mouse like that, like this. This is my daily driver mouse. I literally use it like this. This is my mouse. I use it like this. It doesn't hurt. I like using a, I had a mouse there. Uh, but it's not there anymore. Conventional mice. It feels better to use this and it was cheap. <laughs> it was like $10, $15 at best on on Wish. I got I literally got this on Wish and um it works. I have no complaints. I am happy. Some real life stuff that happened also. I'm I'm reading everything off of my journal, by the way, my ideas journal. In real life. Uh Australia was on fire for the very early month of uh, January, and I think it even crossed over to February. Um, I also <laughs> celebrated Three Kings Day with all my family. I had a real intimate conversation with my uncle, my goth I mean my godfather, my godfather, and I crashed the car. Also, earthquakes were happening a lot in Puerto Rico, so that's the thing. We got a lot of earthquakes, and there was a point where at my church, uh, many people were sticking around because their houses were literally shaking from the foundation uh, to the point where everyone, and literally many people got scared. And I helped um, 
me and my mom helped over there, so that's a thing. Around February, Kobe died. Um, a bunch of people that I know that loved basketball and Kobe Bryant specifically uh, were like sad. Especially like one of my friends was like really sad and characteristically sad. Uh, Black Lives Matter got real serious and my friend told me he was tired of this shit. Protests. Uh, many protests happened and like uh, my friend is my co-writer. This, this, at least in this reference, that uh, my friend is my co-writer and editor, Christian. Uh, he's super cool. Um, I'll probably at his name right here on Instagram so you can follow him. He's super cool. You should follow him. He's Puerto Rican as heck. He's, he's really Puerto Rican as heck. He was uh, among the protests of getting a governor out of our island. I used to think it was two. No, it was one. Karens, Kens, and Simps got called out, finally. Like, these, this year, 2019 and 2020 was the year the Simps and the Karens got called out. Not as just, like, um, overprotective parents. No, it was Karens, Kens, and Simps. Which is great, because I hate Simps. Well, you know, at some point we're all Simps, but we kind of grow out of it. Simp, true Simps? Like, that's just, like, the Simp phase. Real simps, they grow, uh, they, they kind of, normally we grow out of it, they stick to it. Uh, I made an ARG. I won't say anything else about that unless it's in another video next year coming. Or until it's done. Uh, I started college again. Uh, I'm getting A's so far. Literally all my grades so far have been A's. Which is scary. Uh, I am afraid that all of this is gonna slip away, which is the reason I tweeted the tweet that I tweeted of the tweet I tweeted. Um, Biden won elections. Fun. Uh, some people that I knew personally got COVID like really far at the end of like the year. I won't say who. Um, def definitely wasn't family, but like some people I knew got it. And um, well, I got sad because like it's people I care about. I need them in my life. There's a reason they're my friends. And that's pretty much everything. But I would like to share an interesting project, a side project I've been running a little bit since last year. So let's switch back to um, my main screen. So this is my secret account that is, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you who it is. And basically so far, this account Hold on, oh, it's so obvious. Has been plainly only and only watching this entire year Mr. Beast videos. Right now it's in its um, like 55th, like 155th cycle. Uh, that This is an interesting story. So basically I started this uh, thing with my old laptop, a Dell and Spron 15R. I call her Veronica. I have names for laptops. Veronica has a meaning actually, which is a valiant and energetic robot over none in care of all. It's, uh, it's my thing. I, I give uh, names to my things. It's like a personification thing. It's not, it's not really weird if you think about it. Anyway, Veronica, uh, for about three months, had been just sat up, outright watching videos of Mr. Beast, the Mr. Beast channel, not including Mr. Beast gaming, uh, has just straight up been watching uh, Mr. Beast videos, nonstop, almost 24 seven. I really don't know why I did this. Um, I just thought it would be something to do and then the laptop burned out so I had a spare MacBook Pro not not MacBook Pro a MacBook 13 inch and I set that one up to do it then that one also burned up and I have this little laptop it's name is Junior I haven't given it a meaning to the name yet and Junior basically took over that position um, he didn't burn up but he kind of just stopped loading the videos so it, it's been like a month over month over month thing and uh it's kind of been like i had to like restart it when i realized that oh no the computer stopped watching the videos 
and I set it up again and over and over. It's been about like every two to three months that the computer's just straight up stopped, which I'm not sure if it's like the machine doing it. Like the, the, that having to watch the videos like every so month base makes it so that the machines burn out. But it's been like, at least with Veronica, it was like first three months, then it burned out. With uh, Orion, uh, not Orion, Orion's my tower, uh, with G with uh, Macintosh, that's the name of the computer, it's Macintosh, uh, it stopped at three months also, but with Junior, it just stopped loading the videos at two months, after two months of watching. And also you may see a repeat there, it's uh, because um, my latest victim of this has been, to say the least, my iPad. So that's another thing, I got an iPad for college. Let me lower the brightness so you can see. It's watching Mr. Beast videos actively. I want to get this to the end of the year. I did not skip this at all. Um, I made sure to have my machines watching these videos constantly, over and over, nonstop, just to see what would happen. And I came to like the result of like, it takes a couple of months to burn out a computer running Chrome. Uh, okay, so computers are running Windows, uh, Mac OS, and Linux. <laughs> Junior is running Linux because that is like the most bare bones OS it can run. It's specifically running Linux Mint, uh, but I have it configured so it's like least graphic possible. I literally typed away to make it run uh, in Firefox because that's the OS it has uh, to watch the YouTube videos on loop, non-stop, continuous. On the watch later playlist, I have the watch later playlist on repeat. And what I would do is every now and then, when I get a notification on my main channel, on my main YouTube account that Mr. Beast uploaded a video, I would go to the other channel since the other channel is subscribed to the account, I would go to it I would add it to the watch later playlist and it would just add more and more and I'm pretty sure that's what made the laptops burn out. I started this since like December 31st of 2019. I haven't stopped since. Uh, Macintosh, uh, I mean Junior, uh, was the latest to burn out and when I got the iPad, since I have such a beast of a machine to do my college work, I thought why not let the iPad run it? So I've been letting the iPad run it ever since. I just have it on, off on the side with like the brightness uh, lowered so I don't get too distracted with the videos. But so that every now and then I can just like look over and like, oh, Mr. Beast, the current video is counting. Um, uh, is, I think he's counting. I, he's counting to uh, 100,000. And I think the video after that if I'm not mistaken, is, yeah, microwaving dry ice, microwave explodes. <laughs> and then after that is 200 million, and it keeps on going. I've literally added every possible video uh, to this playlist, and I just keep watching the videos. I just have this thing watching all the videos from the first one, from the first one, all the way to, like, the latest. And like a bunch, I even like, it has like a bunch of private videos, so that might be something. But yes, basically this has all been what's been happening this entire year. Uh, I've been trying to create content. It's an on and off process. It's what we mostly expect that can and cannot be done. And uh, I think let's try to end this on a positive note. Yeah. 2020 was shitty in some if not most aspects whether it was if you live in Puerto Rico earthquakes if you live in Australia fires if you lived in Iraq and other places that have been threatened um, with nuclear not nuclear it's like with um, deaths and stuff and all that it's been crappy at least but the best we can do is look at the positives in contrast with the negatives so that we can outweigh the bad with the good 
and basically calibrated the woods to go to bed here, which mostly a lot of bad stuff. But we gotta also take it like glass half full with the good stuff. We gotta we gotta take the value of like glass half full, glass half empty. Let's go with glass half full. Anyway, guys, I think uh, I just kind of got yelled at, so I'm gonna slow down on this video. Uh, thank you all very much for watching this video, all my previous videos, and everything else. You know, for sure to give this video a like if you liked it, comment down below what I should do next, and subscribe for more content. Stick around this year and next year for a lot more content. Let's try to make next year the best year we can. And I'll see you all on the other side of this year. Hope you all had a great Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, and everything else. And I'll see you all next year, as I just said. <laughs> Bye, everyone. It's been a great one.